switch over the stalker darkness? Uh, yeah, I can't do EPT, dude. It's just not working. Um, I'm gonna bring up your, your things I wanna see. Last question, Dr. Dalek. Are you uh, sure the perimeter surrounding the zone is really enough? Sure. If a powerful emission were to occur, we would... Listen, the zone has remained stable for years. Besides, we didn't establish the most advanced um, institution in human history without first shows, guaranteeing its right safety. The As the head of the Scientific Institute for Research at the Chernobyl the area, or Circa for short, I believe the wonders that we will bring to the world far outweigh the potential risks. How big are these risks exactly? <laughs> The zone reveals a whole new world. We can stick with the old one, fearing change. But tell me, do you want our descendants to remember us as cowards? Or as those who dared to venture forward to a new, better humanity? were evacuated. I remind our listeners that a similar incident happened in our region quite recently, ruining homes and livelihoods. <laughs> However, city officials urged people to stay calm, assuring them the situation is totally under control. back there? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. <sighs> Zone is really raging today. See that? It was a hell of a blast. Can't remember one. <sighs> so fierce. Are we uh, close? Uh, kind of. The central checkpoint could be on alert after the emission, but there's another way in. A crack in the wall to the left of the fault. Bugger off! Hope you didn't lose your secret artifact along the way. If it was outside the zone for too long, it would have lost its anomalous energy. <clears throat> but I've got this shiny metal thing to recharge it. One lucky activation, and we have a gold mine here. Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. I say again, Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. Show me what you found. What the hell is this? I've seen artifacts taken from the zone before. They always burn out and fall apart real fast. But this one? This one is not from the zone. Oh, I bet. Where'd you find it? In my... laundry basket. <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to, huh? You have any idea what this scanner cost me? If it's not an artifact, it's gonna blow us all to hell! I won't let my hard work come to nothing because of you. I won't let you flush it down the shit up. This stone owes me a new home. We gotta move. Get to the scientist's bunker. Nehoda will explain how to proceed with the scanner. He's waiting for you. 
Good luck. They are nailing the atmosphere, though. I've always heard that. They nail the atmosphere. I wish the flashlight wasn't so trash, but I think it being trash helps the atmosphere. There's a lot of times where I'm like, you're in a dark area, and I the flashlight really only shows, like, maybe... 10 to 15 feet in front of you <laughs> and it's uh not as realistic but it definitely fits the fact that it feels like you're in a big scary dark area and uh it's interesting I don't know. I am excited for modding, though. I, I think modding will fix a lot of the things that I think are missing a little bit. The main reason why I decided to buy it on Steam. Yeah, so there are really good ways of making money, but uh, they're not very obvious, and so it, it stuff is kind of expensive, and it well, does that's... make you want to keep using other things. Well, that's stalker for you. I mean, stalker's always been about you got to find your own way. Yeah. I will say some shit is probably a little too expensive. Hey man, I'm getting 100 FPS solid so far. What's your PC? Uh, I got a 4080 and uh, a very stupid CPU. What CPU? Uh, let me look real quick. Investigate the scientist's bunker.
killing me, I'm gonna loot Goblin, dude. I'm gonna loot everything I can. Oh, I'm definitely a loot goblin. Comes to any kind of games like this. Oops, there's an anomaly. Change the voice to uh, Russian, Ukrainian, Slavic. It makes it authentic. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, but do I want to read subtitles? I go for that authenticity. Yeah, I love it. When I was in Gamma, I would have my workshop and I had a little radio I could put up and it played uh, like Russian, Ukrainian radio stations. It was awesome. like T being like the light. Middle mouse down. Ah. Oh, that's uh, nice to know. Front front mouse is switch fire type and rear mouse is switch ammo type. Uh change those to other buttons to consume. Cause I always use B for fire mode for every game I play. Cause I play Tarkov a lot. Or I used to, I don't really, I haven't been playing it a lot much recently. Yeah, this wipe's been pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I kind of enjoyed that little um, Halloween thing. Yep, pretty neat. I should have tried it, but I didn't. It, it was it was fun. Nothing extremely special. I don't think you really missed a whole lot, but it, uh, I don't know. I just, just something about it recently, they just... I don't think they're hitting the mark right now. Hey, what button was that? V. I don't know what the default melee key is in most games. How do you change um, fire type? Semi auto, full auto? B. B? Some of the options of guns have been surprising.
Mr. Bonker. Find Dr. Ngoda. He's agreed to give you the coordinates. I don't think it'll be that easy. But I'll figure it out. here. Good, yeah. Oh, can you can you rotate items? R? No. Not not that I found so far. Oh, that but sucks. It, it seems like your inventory space is unlimited, but it's just based off of weight. Okay. I'm already getting fat. Oh yeah, weight's an issue. Yeah, I know loot goblin's my main problem. And those One of the biggest things that has really helped me is that the gold is dead. gear so that you can upgrade spaces. that has a weight reduction upgrade path to it, so that your base goes out. Get out of there immediately! Stop freaking out and tell me where the data is stored. The coordinates should be in there. Who's laptop? Hey, Nagoda. What's up? Have you met Herman's client yet? Tell him a new mission means new coordinates. New coordinates means a new bill. <laughs> Nagoda's dead. I'm Mr. Client. Whoa! That's a hell of a mess you got there, boys. Well, screw that smart ass bastard. I never liked him anyway. Hold on a sec, Mr. Client. Is this Did like Herman a full part old what viral? to do with the coordinates? <laughs> <laughs> like when you was Remind like me. walking in the, in the, the sewer, I thought like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it was like, oh, is right. it working? <laughs> Follow the coordinates and stick your scanner into the ground, and then back off. When it's all done, oh, we, you pick it up. Might... Got it? If not, that's your problem. I'm not a damn help desk. So long, Mr. Client. Do you have the coordinates? 
I hope you do. Things are about to get a little more complicated from here. Good thing it's been a walk in the park until now. First, find the detector. This is a mobile lab. The scientists ought to have at least one. I've already got a detector. You'll need to acquire an artifact to shield yourself from the scanner's radiation. If you don't, you might end up joining the Gola. How? Find an anomaly. After the emission, it shouldn't be that difficult. Then use the detector's signal to navigate it. If the stalkers have figured it out, I'm sure you can too. After that, attach the artifact to your belt and go plant the scanner. Just try not to get killed in the anomaly. That would be rather embarrassing. Close, it's still blinking. It's still blinking. They run away. We have another artifact. Oh, <laughs> Motherfucker. What's up, spaghetti? What's up, Corgi? Hey. Hi, hey. people. Damn, everyone. Here now. Did I join at the same time? <laughs> I don't know who joined first. <laughs> Yeah. There's another artifact in there. Your shit was still blinking. That, uh, I don't believe there was two in there. I believe it blinks just to the actual effects, and it only does a certain type of blinking, too. Take it out. Take your take your detector out one more time and make sure. Because, yeah, my experience tells me there's another one in there. You'll be right. Something I found out about uh, Stalker 2 is it's multiplayer in the works. I know. Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely something you haven't picked up yet. I think the mechanic might be different, but you could be right still. I'm not. I mean, you're walking away, getting closer, and it's the you know the beats are changing, so it's got to be something outside of your body. I think it's bug because it is. Are you talking out about? Here. Are you talking about the beeps? Yeah. That's that's your sensor for anomalies. The the uh, the device in front of you will beep when it's uh, no, that's like, not, that's not, that shouldn't be an yeah. anomaly detector, it's a it's an artifact detector, right? Well that's what I'm saying. It, your suit inherently will beep. Like if you put it away and walk towards the anomaly again, it'll start beeping again. The uh, the base version is just anomalies all over in general. It's not yeah. just for artifacts. Uh, okay. Exactly. And then the artifact detector, when you're holding it, you're able to find them. And it'll, like, do its own little chime. It's more of, like, a lower, uh, burp, burp. Okay. Wait, Spaghetti, how, are you farther into the game? Oh, uh, I'm a little ways in, but I have a lot of experience with Stalker in general. What, what part are you at? Um, I... No spoiler. I don't want to hear that. Oh, oh shit, wow, I'm way past that. Gotcha. I don't even know what that is. Yep, I deafened uh, because I didn't want spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. universe kind of has its own map. Um, I don't <laughs> believe this name would be spoilers because it's a real place in the real world, but I'm about to go to Pruprat. Oh, okay. 
I saw it oh, up there yeah. on the map. I'm really excited too. Just don't pretend yeah, I don't know what y'all are talking about. I'm just wandering around namelessly because I have no idea what I'm doing. That's the little okay. city that was next to the turtle. Is uh, charging always this noisy? No, but that rock of yours is pretty unusual. Check the scanner quick. Is it charged? I'm, I'm really definitely enjoying faithful. it. It's a faithful no. sequel to the original. I knew it! I told you to get out of there! Play that or I'll leave without you! Calm down. <laughs> oh no! Wait now, wow. so what a, when I'm looking at these anomalies, how do I tell what it does? You have to Let learn me, them individually. Uh, you have to learn them individually, they're all different. So that one right there will make you a little bit more susceptible to radiation or it's radioactive in general, just a little bit, but it increases your physical protection just a little bit. So If it's like, green, it's increasing that. If it's red, it's decreasing that. Okay. That's a decent, okay one? That's not too bad. Um, as long as your suit can maintain like the radiation that it's putting out, which it is not see so radiation going up just slowly. Yeah. As if so I... once you get a better suit, that'll do a little better for you. It is flashing, so it is going up. So, from my understanding... Oh, mine's going oh, up in general anyways. Oh, yeah, you also might just be in a little radioactive spot right now as well. So, you, your suit has no effect upon it. You're supposed to be trying to balance this out with other artifacts, so you can get artifacts... Well, no, you can have anti-radiation suits. Yeah. Damn, like, I had suits just before anomalies. That's, that's true. Apparently, okay. in this one, it comes yeah, down to the artifacts. Noisy. So, if you have a suit that you can upgrade, there's an option on the upgrade for the suits for a lead container, and that will give you one soft nope. slot that will not irradiate you in. But yeah. then, any other thing that you include, you need to have a counterbalancing oh, artifact to balance I out the time of the first one. Or you just take spot. consumables over time. Yeah. And Gamma, it took me so long to build up my artifacts and do all that stuff, but it was so cool. Shout out Stalker Gamma, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that the people who love this game after they get, you know, done with it will try this. You know, Dude, the, it. the folks who made Gamma, like Grok, he already started putting out mods immediately for this game. He, yeah, he's a legend. Like the fucking bloodsucker. Uh, this, uh, like, this guy literally... bulletproof? Goddamn. <laughs> Five minutes in, um, he fucking made a mod to decrease the health of bloodsuckers. Fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you come out of cover and we'll do thing there. No, there's a grenade next to me. Oh. So I didn't want to Dude, get okay. by that. Sometimes the fucking AI is smart with grenades, man. Like... Well, when I've heard, they always use grenades, so always be ready. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a Goss gun? Man, you're just looting all the shit. Don't do all those broken bottles and shit. Nah, bro, I need everything, dude. No, that ain't how... Mm, you're gonna get heavy. Uh, I keep tossing all the red gun Guns that are red. They'll be oh, all around yeah. broken bottles and shit. Can't hey, even uh, sell the red ones. No, nope. quick, quick tick for you guys. Make sure you Look, unload the guns before you drop them. Yep. Right click and unload oh. them. I uh, wish I hadn't thought about that about two days ago. Ooh, a new suit. Hey, uh, Spaghetti, should we end the event in this channel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably. Since we're it. not even playing. <laughs> we're just vibing. We're just playing Stalker. You just name, name it Stalker, to be honest. I mean, I will say, Stalker 2 has excellent atmosphere. He really captures that part. How about Stalker 2, Citizen? Yeah. Now, what, I, what surprised me, though, was how long I think, like, I stuck around with this PM pistol. Like, this thing is crazy. Oh, dude, it's fucking Time to plant great. this game. Get like, out of here. Yeah, like... I feel like in every game where it starts you off with a Makarov, I ditch that shit as fast as I can. But I love it in this one. So Skiff's oh pistol. Well, so there's an extended mag you can get to go to 13. But the, I just picked it up. <laughs> yeah, the Skiff's pistol is unique because once you put one upgrade on, it's Vegas. No thanks. Wait, wait, that. 
I, I got that upgrade. You're fucking right. Yeah, and it's amazing Jesus to keep Christ. on because of that. Yeah. I, I've been testing out another pistol, but I think the reason why it's weightless is because I can't take the pistol inventory. It, it's a, like a quest item. You must have to use it for something in the future that I have no clue about, but it's uh, it just weightless. I've noticed it's used in cutscenes. Like, it's always the weapon he's holding in a cutscene. How do I use that upgrade? Because I just picked it up. Do I just do I drag it in? I drag it down. Okay. Uh, now the part I'm dreading. I go in the sphere. Well, that's where I'm at right now. And be a sneaky little freaky. I just shot my way through it. <laughs> I bought like a million shotgun shells and just fucking well, I don't know what else to do with it. walked in there. Sneaky breaky. Well, normally what you do with anomalies is you learn them and get around them. But maybe yeah. this now that I'm not taking radiation damage anymore, let me put this back on and see if it's... The one, the one darkness it's dealing with that I have not figured out yet, and it's a fucking bitch. It's annoying as fuck, just throwing shit at me. Fucking yeah, it's throwing shit at you. Yeah, dude, it's Oh, shocked. the poltergeist? Yeah, you can... That guy, there, he's in there. You'll know when you see him. Oh, no, yeah, but I, I don't know what to do times. with him. I, he, I guess. He's just a sponge. Like, you'll just keep shooting him, and you'll get him. Oh, he'll... Okay. I had to deal with one earlier. Like, they're probably my least favorite enemy. Where's this poltergeist at? Um, you encounter him really early on in the tutorial level. Um, he's in like a sunken boat. He like chucks shit at you. Yeah, fuck that. That was so annoying. Um, that I ever looks, that. that's just a, that looks like him, but I don't think that is. Shit. I in the tutorial like level, him. the only thing I fought was a bloodsucker. He's kind of like in the side. You don't have to go there and find him. Um, oh, okay. That's why I just came that fight. Missed that he area. Just walked right past him. He's up there. Last I knew, he was up there. Yeah. There's another way up through the boat. You can keep going around. That looks like him. That's not good. That's so how difficult is it to shoot your there. way through this place? What was that? How difficult is it just to shoot your way through the sphere? Uh, what other guns do you have? I've got, you know, let me take this anomaly thing back off. I was testing it out and it's taking too much radiation. I guess, more, oh, you got plenty of ammo. You can do it. Five, it's five, it. AKM. There's a lot of, there's a lot of bad guys in there. However, it's, it's doable. I did it. You can do it. Yeah, you can shoot your way through it. Just, you probably want to be wanting to use a 545 gun because you're probably going to have to pick up anger as you go. Because there's a lot. Yeah, I've got yeah. 240 rounds of 545. Yeah, use your grenades. Um, yeah, you'll you'll be fine. I did fine. I make no way out there. Right now. I'll be sneaky till I can't. <laughs> That's also there's no mantle, dude. Uh, on some surfaces, not on others. It's like man-made surfaces you can always mantle on, but like caves you can't. Or like anything natural. Um, Spaghetti, you weren't in the area when I was saying it, but my one advice for stuff is to, like, really look around everywhere. 
Oh, don't worry, I am. Yeah, like... Like, I've been loving the amount of detail and just everything that they have in this fucking game. The Lesser Zone has some surprisingly really good stuff in it, but it's just not where you necessarily expect it. Mm-hmm. Um... I don't really want to spoil anything, so. But there is one weapon in particular I would be looking out for while you're there, because I haven't found another one since getting all the way to where I am. Uh, do you want to DM me what kind of weapon it is? If it's not super spoiler or like, it's not. I'll just know when I see it. Oh, that looks. Uh, oh, really? Okay. I mean, what is it we need to be that. watching for? Uh, fuel cup. Herman, Solder's premium cordons smell like a scam. Like a job. But the machine could have thrown a wrench in the works. We'll find out soon. You'll find purchasable ammo, uh, probably I think significantly before you'll find the purchasable version of the gun, if you can even do that, but, uh, just one spot left. I've got nowhere to go uh, back to. Do you want to give me a basic cardinal direction that it might Over be? and out. Because I'm wondering if I already passed on an accident. Let me... Thinking uh, I know what it is. Okay, yeah, that's the side I haven't really made my way out to, so... Yeah, not exactly, but... That. Yes, and I, and I could be wrong here. I'm pretty sure I remember exactly where it is, but... I'll look for it. See what I find. Otherwise, um... I don't know, I've put slugs in a double barrel shotgun, and it's served its purpose. And this guy has carried me so far. Shotguns are so good. Yep. Oh, that's a huge upgrade. Okay. High capacity magazine for an assault rifle. Oh. <laughs> I think I know where you are. Are you on some train tracks? Uh, no, I'm in a tunnel. Oh. It so was in a stash. Two, um, there's two locations for that, possibly. Then. It was like it was in a stash that I had a uh, coordinate for, so it's entirely possible that it was just procedurally spawned there. God. Yes. Uh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
Yeah, you'll see. And it shows. He just ran right by that anomaly and like, what the hell? Do you have the uh, over under shotgun? Uh, yeah. Some kind of anomaly. The boomstick. I see the no, that's, that's the side by side one. I have the, uh, what is this? Tall as 43 or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right. Situation unclear. You inside. What about it? You to the roof. Oh, I was Hold just on. curious. That, uh, of the beginning ones, I remember being. HQ, uh, go back reporting. Pretty great. I'm sick of with it. Like every stash that I find always has some, uh, some shotgun ammo in it too. So I am not struggling. No, I can't read the mind. Hopefully, it won't find like that. Yeah, when it when it comes to gun variety for that, that's actually better than I thought it was gonna be for that category. Would it be uh, the double? Uh, just shotguns. Yeah. They are. Skid, come in! Come in! Sword of Soda's out, you hear me? The greedy son of a bitch sword of out! That's my one complaint with this game. Is this really dark? Like, even in the daytime, like, when, like, the sun is out and, like, I don't know, I wish the ray tracing would, like, actually light it up some of these spaces in the day a little better. But I do appreciate it in, like, tunnels and such, how it is just true darkness in that night. A little shit flat my ankle. Oh, shit. Here you go, Network. Oh, you got caught up in the vortex. Well, that's, a, that's a classic anomaly right there. What the f Oh, that's a grenade. My god, they're good at those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some fire. Yeah, they huh? are really good at grenades. Who are you? I am suffering from the same fate right now. I'm your guardian angel. I have some angel. really good clips of them just fucking Here's like, like I'm just sitting in all. Why the hell would I need a bolt? Take a look around. Oh, crap. Yep. Toss it into the anomaly. Then while it resets, run like hell. Got it? Now go. See it to the left of you and the front on them little distortions. Yeah, I thought I turned off all these freaking overlays. I want it to be nowhere. This shit off, I don't care about seeing this stuff. The recoil, too, is just impressive. Like, like the recoil feels realistic for weapons, and I love it. Um, I've noticed a issue which I think they will probably end up patching, or at least a modder might fix your uh, horizontal and vertical uh, sensitivities are screwed up in the vase version. It's not the same, but not one-to-one. -one. Interesting. And uh, that's been my biggest gripe when it comes to recoil, is not having a one-to-one -one sensitivity. Very fascinating. I've, um, luckily, like, I just kind of guessed what my recoil should be and I set it really low, or my uh, sensitivity should be, and just set it really low. Um, 
And it's been exactly what I wanted it to be, so I haven't had to, I haven't had any problems with it. Yeah, I'm starting to get used to it, but the the vertical being different. You handled it like so a great. real stalker. Come over here and let's talk. I knew you could do it. Well, okay, I didn't really know, but I sure hoped you would. <laughs> How'd you get here without any gear? Second longest train in the world. I was attacked while on a job. I got hit in the How head. Else did they move, uh, when I woke up, into the I was in almost nothing but my birthday. Giant city. scary reactor. You're lucky they didn't kill you right away. You should stop by Zalisa and check up with the doc man, and talk to the bartender while you're there. See if he knows anything about your attackers. Okay, so it wasn't a reason to be a loot goblin in the uh You wanted to settle some scores. Yeah. <laughs> so um, couldn't be what you work. could do is you can actually go store all of your stuff and when you get robbed you can come back and grab it. The bastard shot him at point blank. Then where would you store it? Like on a body? The so the house right where you now get the uh where the ward is mess. investigating. There's that yeah. room that you can jump <laughs> into with the safe. With the safe. You can shove all your stuff in there. It deletes some stuff. Uh, it deletes your the um, HK416 and some of the 5.56 ammo. But it, you would keep all of the other stuff, like your base meds and food. Aw, oh, damn. Cool. The fuck is that? Why is your ass still here? Head over to Zalisha and keep your mouth shut. Unless you want both of us hmm. killed. I might be at a story locked point. Oh, I guess that probably says danger in Russian. Okay. Ukrainian. Oh yeah, dude, I've never seen a game where signs actually mean so much. Right? <laughs> like, I need to, like, learn Ukrainian just to play it, like, learn how to play this game. It's... Oh, shit. It is a very bad time to be over encumbered at this moment. Lone stalkers, the bar in Zalisa is open again. The first drink after the emergency. You move faster if your weapon is holstered. Is that a game? Uh, I don't think so. I think you're. It's just based off of your your weight capacity. Okay. Then yeah, it is a very very bad time to not. Have a lot of weight to spare. Time to go. This guy's so tanky. Uh, 
Mm. Just fighting mm. people? What? Yeah, aim for the head and fuck, you can mash that button. Yeah. It works really well. The rate of fire for this gun is kind of nuts. I love it. Yeah, Not what I want to do. Christ. Fuck them up pretty good, eh? <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to step in for me. That's rarer than Mama's beats around here. Normally, folks in the zone just walk past other people's troubles. They've got their own shit to deal with. You are new around here, ain't ya? I am, to be honest. Yeah, figured as much. But you have definitely taken out a few scumbags in your day. Thanks for having my back. I might be pushing my luck here, but could you lend me a hand with something else? All right, let's hear it. There's four of us at the boiler house, not far from here. Squint, Richter, Gloomy, and myself. Squint is the leader. Richter is his right-hand man. And we just joined Spa... Uh, a group. Squint and Richter took off somewhere in the morning. And then me and Gloomy got ambushed by those bandits. I, uh... uh managed to make a... Tactical retreat. But the bastards took Gloomy. I don't know what they are doing to him, but I doubt they are throwing him a party. We need to rescue him and make those thugs regret it. Gloomy will find a way to return the favor. All right. I'll do it. For real? Jeez, you rock. Don't worry, I won't just send you there empty-handed. I've got a stash close by. It's got everything you need. A gun, some ammo, the whole shebang. Whatever you don't use, consider it yours. Just make sure uh, you've got bad. Gloomy's back, all right? What? Someone left. I don't know who it was. I can't remember. I still really want to know what gun y'all are talking about that I don't need to miss in the lesser zone. Um, I don't mind telling you if you don't care about spoilers. Just a, it's just a gun anyways. There's really a... Well, okay, before I say it, I'm about 90% sure it's a, a top-tier endgame weapon. Okay. All right. Fine? Yep. Okay. There's an SVD in the lesser zone. I already zone. got it. You already got the SVD? Yep. Okay. I think it's the <laughs> okay. most powerful sniper rifle by far. Oh yeah, it fucking wrecks anything you hit with it. Yeah, and and you won't you'll be able to get ammo for it, but I'm uh I've got it and I've already fully repaired it. Okay, because I've been I've been in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've been in ten different zones and I haven't found it for sale. Or another one. Oh dang. Yeah, it was the guy in the top of a warehouse with an SVD. Yeah. That's honestly uh, what I thought you were talking about, but I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. You know, and, and and I just found ammo for something that could possibly be better, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't found a gun for it yet. But, you know, some people might consider that a spoiler as it's an endgame weapon. It's just a gun. Well, good thing there's an SVD in a game like this. Yeah, I mean, you expect there's an SVD, but you, I don't know. For for example, when I was sort of playing, I didn't know which way they were going to go. Like, is some CG by 54 are going to be the highest end caliber? Or are we going to get something like 50 or 338 Lapua or 408 or like, you know, 
how big of a sniper rifle are they gonna go? All right, just give me a bare 50 cal and I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah, which I, you know, I don't think there is one, and I think that's oh, why. Definitely not. This definitely not. I don't know. The, I, this is we the game that yet. can balance it. You know, if, as soon as you add the weight system in, that's the only reason why you could add something like that. Because when you realize that a bear is like 20 some pounds unloaded, and when you put ammo and a scope on it, you're like almost 30 pounds or something. Like, man, that could fucking really affect how you carry that around. Yeah, because uh, I have a S uh, SPT server that me and my friends sometimes play on for Tarkov. And I had a mod for uh, a bear with the cow. God damn, dude, you don't want to bring. You can bring the mag and the gun, and then you're not bringing us another mag. You're bringing bullets, and that's even too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if that if there's gonna be anything bigger than that. But even that SVD is fucking heavy. It's not terrible, but it's it's. Terrible. Dude, you probably just this guns this, this smack robber just came with a, a fucking machine gun, dude. Yeah, they tried. I just got a high capacity mag for it, so I've been running it non stop. Uh, you know how Tarkov has a drum for the Makarov? I really wonder if there's a drum in this yeah. game for it. <laughs> I, I have no clue, but if there is, man, oh, dude, fucking best gun of the game. Need me my fucking underground Makarov drum from Tarkov, man, I miss that thing. I miss Tarkov just a little, just a tiny bit. So, uh, did you know in uh, IRL that there's a very easy way to oh, sear a Makarov to full auto? Where's the money? Up your ass. And, and uh, there's quite a few people who have them. Uh, like, for example, I think Brandon Herrera on YouTube has a video with a full auto Makarov. And um, I really want Tarkov to add a full auto Makarov to a 50 round bag. Well, we got that, uh, that other one. What is it? The APS? APS, yeah. Yeah. That one yeah. kind of feels like the same uh, criteria. The the Makarov is weird because um, with the sear installed, the uh, it pretty much turns into an open bolt. So the slide is locked back. Uh, so when you start shooting, it will have the slide back and it will act like an open bolt where it just hammer fires. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah, it's it's uh, not a very complicated thing to do. Gotta eat yourself some radiation pills. I've got I've got five. But they're so light that like, I don't mind them all. Oh wait, I just I didn't drop all the vodka. That's why I don't know what to do. Yeah, once you I can do. switch. What uh once you can switch away from carrying the, uh, the liquid around, stop for two, I guess. Save you a lot of weight. <laughs> Rebounded that. <laughs> My guess is yes. Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. What was that you were saying there, Hawk? Uh, once you can switch away from liquids and hold the like pill variant it will really save you a lot of weight yeah i try to only have a couple on but this is a backup and to make my character a little more happy in northern ukraine bro hey, don't worry my guy's never gonna be overweight i swear <laughs> <laughs> i am constantly fighting that I am a loot whore, and I pick up everything. Well, yep, who same. sent you? Richter right. and or I that asshole Yeah, I must have found an area where I can't have my weapon out, because it automatically puts my weapon away in here. asked me to get you out of here. He asked you to wipe his ass. That's what he did. Oh, cinematic. You think those goons were brought down here by the emission? 
Jorik lost a wad of cash playing cards in garbage and figured he could hide out here. Well, the fucker wasn't completely wrong. They didn't get him. They got yes. me. What you looking at? Expecting a reward? Check the togs. I'm just glad oh, they left me my reduction. suit. Okay. Wait a sec. See, what else they didn't take the detector. Those oh, scumbags yeah. think they're too Perfect. good to dive okay. into anomalies looking for artifacts. Easier to gonna shake help. down a loner on his way out. Assholes. Yeah, that did so much. That took like half my weight away. Reducing the weight of my fucking guns. That'll do. Hand it over. Here you go. There's an anomaly in the cave. Appeared right after the initial. Maybe the detector will help you sniff something out. Thanks for the help, stalker. But don't count on anyone standing up for you if you run into trouble. You'll be better off that way. All right, you stupid asshole. Get over here. Tommy, you have no idea how glad I am. Why don't you come a little closer? Let me get a better idea. Uh, I've got something I need to take care of, so... Mm. Why don't you take a breather and cool off? I'll be right back. Dumbass. It gives me some very tough decisions here. The correct decision is shoot him. Always the right answer. Yeah, that's what I was leaning towards, but I was kind of curious if he was anything that was to give you some good shit later. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, that ship has probably sailed for me. There's been a lot of the people I've killed. Uh, he's the one that wanted to pick a box from that, so... Did the trick?
I could not freaking find this artifact. Taking up in here or not? Hmm? Where are you at? Uh, streaming right now. Oh, oh, did we get moved. Yeah, we got moved to lounge three by rebound. Uh, yes, there is one in here. Where at? Uh, it's. I think it's different for every single person. But um, throw your bolt at things and then get closer and look uh, for like this one. What's up rebound? Like, really beeping. Down. It'll pop out of the ground and it might move once or twice or something. Is that? Yeah, there you go. I think so. And then you can follow that where it went and then throw another one. You have to like physically walk up to it first. You could just like quit game. Ah, uh, thanks, baby. Uh, I don't care about stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, how'd the IAA part of it? Uh, there wasn't really anyone here. Yes, she did. It didn't go. Not many people showed up. <laughs> oh, I saw eight or nine people in here at one point. Is there ever really that many? I thought we had a max of like five. Yeah, I thought I saw eight at one point when I was looking over here. There were a few that when they joined in, they were immediately muted and deafened and didn't say shit. Mm. I don't care how the hell will be doing this fully. This one is this one a required? Cause I don't, I don't think I even bothered with this one. I think it's a fire anomaly. I don't even fucking care. It's not required. Uh, it will give you a bleed resistant artifact. If I remember right, it's somewhere in the middle that you walk up to it and it will come out. But I think it's probably there. It there it is. Don't know what the hell I did, but I did it. He's gotta get close enough to it. Yeah, anything with a fire anomaly, I fucking see too. I did just find a scope to assault rifle. That I honestly don't think I'm gonna use because it's mine's better. Well, if y'all are doing that, I'm gonna hop down a channel and I'm gonna go do uh, 4.0 shit. So uh, good, good luck. luck. See you later. There's a reason why we're playing <laughs> it's, this. Um, it's good not luck good right now, man. <laughs> He's 
Persistent. Yeah, I'll give him that much. I was persistent for four hours and I gave up. Yeah, that's. I, I was persistent for about five seconds of listening to y'all bitch about it, so I didn't even drop. That's right, I was that, man. <laughs> like, I watched you do that shit, Dark, and I'm like, man, I don't got that much patience for it right now. Nope, not happening. Not tonight. Yep, I hate myself, so I kept going. That sounds like he's speaking Over German. Here. You want to make some money? Rebound is uh, one dedicated man. man. There's a pack of blind dogs wandering about, and I've been hired to hunt them All down. about star citizens. If you shoot more of them than I do, Though, money's yours. You know, if you don't, you all mentioned something about a nervous mine. guy on top of a building and finding a lot of trip wires uh -huh. leading up to a warehouse. Hey, you found it. <laughs> a wager, huh? I Let's do it. We know how many Let's times you blow then. yourself up. Just get her at any time. Follow the trail. Uh, one. So far. I looked over at Darkness's stream and fucking walked into what I didn't see. I will let Wanna you know. Want to hear a joke? It just came to me. Check it out. How come birds say it's one don't so have far. any ID? Because of bureaucracy. <laughs> Ooh, extremely radioactive grenades taken care of. Three. He just chucked a grenade at me. Yeah, he does that too. And he's pretty oh, accurate with that SPD, so be careful. Why the poltergeist lose weight? Cause it yep, can't it. Toss Hello! It in Boom, he's dead. <laughs> Got a lot of shit on him, though. Oh, and a nice grenade. Okay, fuck yeah. Hello, Mr. SVD. You are what I was looking for. Uh-oh. Stay in the trail. Oof. I'm gonna buff out. This is a nice looking rifle. Oh, it's very right? nice rifle. 19 rounds. These, sir, are my rainy day toy. Alright, make that two grenades that killed me. I forgot about one. Here they are, the <laughs> dog pants. They used to be the cow shits, but I don't get out see that any cows way. here. Plenty of dogs, though. You ready? Bunch of asses. Let's do Fuck, do I get out of this fucking flight? Yeah. Where the hell did you find that? I haven't found one of those yet. Uh, I found it in, I think, the, the, the tower I went in. Huh. Yeah, I might, uh, I might have to go find that mod for the bloodsuckers, because they are a little bit spongy. It's, like, kind of unnecessarily spongy. Like, they weren't that bad in the other Three games, man. Here. Guess that's they hit it. you fucking hard, nice but shooting. like you could deal with it. All right, them. now for the serious part. One of the dogs has a collar. I just don't want to like. To find I, I, I want to try and get Those the things achievements. Those things emit a lot so of radiation. For now. If you hear static, watch your step. Crap. I need to hurry up and get shelter. Ooh. 
It's that time of year. Yeah, it's the first time I've had an emission. I had my first one just a little bit ago. I was surprised it took me over that long. Oh, you know, it actually might be... Now I'm thinking about it, like, it's probably a, um... Fucking scheduled event. Looks like it was locked behind doing the task at the spear. Yeah, did you, like... You just I wrap just, that up I and you're walking back? I just that task at the spear, yep. Yeah, so it looks like once you get past that and you're walking back, it kicks off. Hello, and I'll Then you'll start having there. emissions after that, it looks like. Yeah. So always make sure you can get to a shelter real quick. How long do emissions last? Uh, it'll tell you when it's over. You're one hell of a sniper, man. I didn't expect a rookie to beat me. Well, the money's all yours. You got time to go. What talk do you to think of this whole color business? I don't know what kind of freaks put them on dogs, but I'm the guy they hired we'll to bring them back. We'll sell off all these lightly these dogs damaged are all over the lesser zone. guns. I'm getting tired of this crap. Sometimes a dog gets into an anomaly. Sometimes the static is loud and clear, but yet there are no dogs in sight. Not a one. Do you need a hand? Actually, uh, I need to find me someone that sells pop pop six ammo. If you can what pull I need. Scholar out, I'm willing to pay you for it. Yeah, I have found anyone some yet, so I've just been uh, already fixed that nearby. gun. You'll see. The one that you get from the task? Yeah. Where do I find these colors? I didn't ditch it. I'm I've got it in my storage. If you recover any colors, bring them to the oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll I'll deliver them to the customer. I don't like to stay in one place. I thought you meant you like you ditch 